on 15 March 2024, you search for the conversion rate of USD and Ringgit on Google, uh, you'll be at a record high uh, of 1 USD uh, is to 4.98 Ringgit, uh, which means, hey, Simi, where the idiot go? Nah, be, sala, le. Yeah, la, it turns out uh, that that money changer, uh, sala, la. I'm going another money changer. Google made a mistake. Wow, sell out. Uh. So, so, uh, so, yeah, shockingly, uh, on 15 March 2024, uh, Google published the wrong info about the exchange rate between USD and Ringgit. And we are not talking about them uh, showing links that write the wrong info. Eh. The wrong info uh, is on the homepage, and let's face it, uh, this is where we usually check the rates too. Ma. They are raised uh, where 1 USD uh, is to 4.98 Ringgit, making it a record high since the last record high uh, was back in 1998, and that was because of the 1997 Asian financial crisis. Eh. Even back then, uh, the exchange rate uh, is only at 1 USD uh, is to 4.88 Ringgit. Eh. So for it to hit 4.98, uh, it's almost like seeing a person uh, going into a toilet cubicle uh, without a phone. Uh. What is he going to do in the toilet? Eh? Shit, man. Yeah, you can see how sharp the rise is here. Uh, almost like uh, it's Bitcoin. Uh. It's wrong because uh, the Malaysia Central Bank uh, said that based on commercial bank's exchange rate, uh, that this rate uh, is between 4.7015 uh, to 4.7045 during office hours and never hit 4.98. They then urge the public uh, to rely on official data. Like, 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 uh, 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 where? Where? Let that go. Here's the thing. This isn't the first time uh, that happened to the ringgit this year. On 5th Feb, uh, Google published it at a record high of 6.2390 at 8 am uh, before dropping back to a normal 4.7503. The Malaysia Central Bank uh, then issued a statement saying that that was not accurate. Uh. And so, uh, with the latest inaccuracy, uh, the Central Bank uh, said that they will be engaging Google for an explanation of how the inaccurate reporting occurred and the corrective measures taken given that this is a recurring issue that has affected Malaysia and other countries in the past few months. Google Malaysia uh, has since responded, uh, but they didn't explain why that happened. Eh. Instead, they apologized and said that they provide currency exchange rates for informative purpose only and urge users uh, to head to official sources for making any financial decisions. So basically, uh, Google is a husband because uh, uh, he knows how to apologize uh, and then don't need to explain. Just me. Uh. Sell your guy, my YC. As of time of this recording, uh, it's unknown what the Malaysian Central Bank is going to do, uh, but here's the thing. Over the last few months, uh, Google has been on fire about its search results. Google regularly updates its search algorithm, and unlike Instagram or TikTok, uh, they have made change without you knowing. Google will publicly state the change that they have made. These are called call updates. Back in September last year, uh, a major call update was made, and it kind of changed the search engine quite a lot. Niche sites, uh, even those with very good contents, uh, will hit hard with their websites uh, losing rankings. And when one website loses its ranking, uh, another will take over, right? So, who are the new winners, eh? Forums, or mostly uh, user-generated contents. You can see from this chart uh, on the growth of ready posts uh, that appear in Google search results. And these uh, are from Quora and Linking. This month, uh, there's yet another call update, and once again, uh, many sites will hit. All these updates uh, are supposed to make search better, uh, but here's the thing again. Some people speculated that something is brewing. Since at this moment, uh, the usual way of us searching for websites and going into websites to find answers uh, are considered old-fashioned. Okay? Some of us uh, no longer Google for answers, but instead uh, use AI like Pascal.ai uh, or Gemini uh, to find info, which includes the latest info from the web, and then responded uh, like a friend talking back to you. Google itself uh, even has what is known as a search generative experience, in which an AI uh, will find the results from the web and come up with an answer. Which leads to the next question, uh, are all these errors uh, related to the massive change coming to Google? Eh? Or is it all just a coincidence? No, of course not. Uh, you think what's uh, Reddit can be so powerful uh, that it changes exchange rate, man. It's not like uh, they have once changed the prices of stock before, ma. <laughs> oh, meow. No one will know if these changes will have any impact, uh, and nothing is certain yet, uh, except one. If you see one is to fall uh, for Singapore dollars against ringgit on Google, uh, don't be too happy yet. Eh. Just to be safe, uh, and to confirm that the info is accurate, uh, better to Google that first. Uh, eh. In the meantime, uh, if you think I learned something, consider subscribing, uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.